Unexpected dose of positivity coming from a Louisville pothole. WDRV's Darby Bean explains what's going on. In a parking lot filled with customers and cars. Isn't that awesome? There's an unexpected surprise turning heads. Definitely puts a smile on my face. While most potholes fill people with annoyance, this one is filling them with positivity. <laughs> making people do a double take, slow down and grab their cell phones for a picture. It's an eyesore, so if it's an eyesore, you're already looking at it. Might as well look at something nice. Piled with dirt, some fake orange flowers from the Dollar Tree next door, a pinwheel and balloon. It's no longer your average pothole outside this Baptist Health Primary Care Center on Dixie Highway. We were just kind of joking around about it and then come in the next morning and there it is. <laughs> the receptionist put it out there. They wanted to make it stand out, preventing patients from falling or getting hurt on their way inside and spreading some smiles for people driving by. I think that's really awesome that they did that. Um, obviously one because it's funny, but yeah, it was super deep, but it's I mean, it's neat. It dresses up the parking lot. <laughs> Others in the office posted it to the I Am Dixie Highway Facebook page, getting hundreds of reactions, never thinking some dirt in the parking lot would get so popular. I'm kind of glad it did, though, because you always see a lot of negative stuff on there. So it's something good, something positive and funny. My wife and mother-in-law were just talking about it this morning and weren't sure where it was. And then as we were coming through, we saw it there and just laughed because you know it's all decorated balloons and it's got the little spinner thing. With some orange lines in the parking lot it looks like this pothole and others around it could be getting a much more permanent fix soon. There is a pothole. But in the meantime it's growing attention as it is. Reporting with photojournalist Emily Evans, Darby Bean, WDRP News.